Hey everyone, welcome back to the Storytime family. How are you guys? I hope you're feeling good today. Is it nice and sunny out? Did you have some playtime outside today? That sounds awesome. Today we have Sam and his dad by Sergey Block. Let's check out what Sam and his dad is about. Sam and his dad. In my family, there's my dad. Sometimes I call him my big dad. He doesn't like that very much. But when I tell him it's meant with love, then it's okay. In my family, there's also my little brother. His name's Leon. He's always ready to muck around with me, even if he sometimes wrecks my buildings. In my family, there's also my mom, my darling mommy, whom I love to bits. She makes me a bottle, even though I'm a bit too big for them. Then there's me. My name is Sam, which is short for Samu, but I prefer Super Sam. Dad knows how to make all kinds of dress-up costumes. I ask him to turn me into a monster or an enormous animal, and ta-da, I'm transformed. Dad knows how to draw too. Draw me a wolf with great big teeth, I ask, and then he draw me a bird, a pigeon, and also the sea with a lighthouse, crabs, and fish. His job is drawing. In the street with Dad, I jump in all the puddles. I climb on all the posts. I'm a little monkey. When I go to school, Dad is always in a hurry. He says, "Hurry up, Samuel! We're going to be late." But when Dad is lagging behind me, he says, "Hey, wait up, mate!" If we cut through the park, I immediately start chasing the pigeons. One day, I'm going to catch one, put salt on his tail feathers, and cook it. Well, maybe. That's not very nice. When we head to the country, my dad drives. I say to him, "Don't drive too fast; the wheels will fall off." In the car, we play, eat sweets, and then everyone sleeps. Except that, when we finally arrive at our house, no one wants to sleep. Of course, except Dad. We go for walks, often to Mr. Roy's farm. Sometimes we go by foot, sometimes by bike. There are cows at Mr. Roy's farm, and cow poo, and a dog, who isn't very friendly. I love animals, but I'm also wary of them. I have hens, roosters, bulls, big ones, little ones, but no real ones. I have loads of them in a suitcase. I have more animals than Noah's Ark, which was a very big boat full of animals. I make farms and zoos and even big processions of animals. Often I have a little play fight with Dad when he's not working. They're great fun. I always win. We also play the wolf and the little pig. I pretend to be very frightened in my little house, but because it's made of brick, Dad can get in. Afterwards, we pretend to be hunters, and the wolves hide because they're so scared of us. I'm very good at gymnastics. Gymnastics includes somersaults, balancing, and all sorts of acrobatics. When Dad holds me up to the ceiling, I laugh and scream very loudly. So Mom comes; she's always terrified. I love stories, quick stories when we're in a hurry in the morning, stories at dinner to make me eat my food. Above all, I love the story about the giant who traps a dragon and puts him in the stew. 
I also like stories grandma records for me. I listen to them all day, but sometimes dad has had enough. He gets angry and tells me to turn grandma off. In the evening, mom reads us stories, really long stories, to keep the light on as long as possible. I like stories with monsters in them the best. Afterwards, I get nightmares, and I go into my parents' bed. Sometimes the spot is already taken. That looks familiar. But there's usually a little space for me to squeeze into. And that was Sam and his dad. Does this story sound like yours? Do you do all the fun things with your dad too? Well, I hope you do. You are so lucky to have such a special dad. Hope you enjoyed the book. Give us a like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Tell us about your dad. If you like to purchase this book, the links are in the description below. Don't forget to click on the bell for more stories like this. Thanks for dropping by. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.